Jared's Guitar Lessons here, and today I'm going to be talking about creating picking patterns. Essentially what I'm going to be doing is taking my finger picking lesson and my rhythms lesson and combining them to kind of create our own picking patterns. Now if finger picking is not in your wheelhouse or something that you're still working on, you can replace all the fingers with just a pick. The only difference here is that each finger is going to be assigned to a string, so whenever I refer to a finger, you can just pick that individual string right there. Let's get going with the first one. Now the first one isn't too far out of the ordinary, but I wanted to reestablish some of these rules and also see something in play. Here I am using rhythm two, which is one and two and three and four and with our finger picking pattern one. Thumb, one, two, three, thumb, one, two, three. Switching for that D minor, one and two and three and four and G, skipping that fifth string, one and two and three and four and and then thumb one, two, three, one, thumb one, two, three. So for my second example, I'm gonna be using my finger picking pattern number two, which is gonna be thumb two, one, three, with rhythm three, which is going to be one, two, and three, four, and. Now this is gonna provide a little bit of a problem for us because my finger picking pattern only has four notes in it and my rhythm has kind of six. One, two, and three, four, and. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking the middle two, the two, one, and be adding that onto our finger picking pattern so that way it fits into a whole measure right there. So let's hear that over our C, D minor, G, and C chords. Now for my third example, I'm gonna be using finger picking pattern number three, which is gonna be thumb, three, one, two, with rhythm number four, which is gonna be one, two, three, and four, and. So we're in the same predicament as we were before. We have six beats and we have four notes. So I'm just gonna be adding those middle two again. Thumb, three, one, two, three, one. So for my fourth example, I'm going to be using finger picking pattern number four, which is going to be thumb, one, three, two. This time I'm going to be doing it with rhythm five, which is going to be one, two, and, and four, and. Now we're in the same predicament as before, where we only have four notes that I'm specifying in my uh, finger picking pattern and six rhythms. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding just those middle two at the end again. Now for my fifth example, I'm gonna be going through finger picking pattern number seven, and this is going to be thumb one, two, one, three, one, two, one. Now the rhythm is just gonna be rhythm two, especially since we already have eight within that finger picking pattern. So it's gonna go one and two and three and four and. Now this lesson is meant to inspire as much as anything else. So the PDF full of rhythms, now there aren't all the rhythms in the world, but there are quite a handful on there to get you started. Another one of finger picking patterns. And again, whether or not you finger pick, we can use that as, as an inspiration on kind of assigning strings to a certain beat and kind of see what we can fit together. The idea is that regardless of what chord that we're on, we're able to create a pattern that our ears can kind of gravitate towards, whether it be on the fifth string, the fourth string, or the sixth string. Thanks for watching. Check out GearsGuitarLessons.com for more free lessons and resources and free downloads of all those PDFs I was talking about today. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys next time.